Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering evaluation of clustering in data mining. Guys, I have uploaded complete data mining subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. As we know, clustering is unsupervised machine learning algorithm. In unsupervised machine learning algorithm, we train our algorithm without any class label. Evaluation is nothing but validating whatever the clustering algorithm that we created. We are verifying that algorithm that whether this algorithm is working or not. But when compared to supervised machine learning algorithms, validating this unsupervised learning algorithms is very complicated. It is not easy because we do not train our algorithm by using labeled data. We train our algorithm by using unlabeled data. So it is complicated. In order to evaluate clustering algorithms, there are three important factors that we use. One is clustering tendency and second one is number of clusters and third one is clustering quality. First one is clustering tendency. We can also call this tendency as capability. Before checking the performance of our clustering algorithm, at first we need to make sure that data set we are working has clustering tendency or not for example this is data set at first we need to check whether this data set has clustering tendency or not if this data set has tendency to form a cluster then it will uniformly distribute data objects that means it will correctly place these objects in the cluster for example it will create three clusters and it will place these objects correctly in the cluster like it will place circular objects in one cluster square objects in another cluster and triangular objects in another cluster if it has clustering tendency but if this data set do not have clustering tendency then it cannot uniformly distribute data objects it cannot distribute objects correctly clustering algorithm will not work so at first we need to check whether data set has clustering tendency or not in order to identify clustering tendency we use hopkins test it is a statistical test can be used to measure the probability of uniform data distribution basically we perform some mathematical calculations in order to identify clustering tendency if we get a hypothesis greater than 0.5 then data set has ability to form cluster but if hypothesis is more close to zero then data set does not have clustering tendency next factor is number of optimal clusters it is denoted by k for example if you consider some of the algorithms like k means algorithm k means algorithm requires k number of clusters as clustering parameter so getting optimal number of cluster is very important in analysis if value of k is too high then each point will broadly start representing a cluster and if k value is too low then data points are incorrectly clustered so finding optimal number of clusters lead to guarantee in clustering if you consider this example for example if value of k is 10 then it form 10 clusters so we need to place the data in these 10 clusters which is not correct and if value of k is very low for example if value of k is 2 then we need to place this data in two clusters so result is not accurate that is objects are not placed correctly so value of k must be optimal if value of k is 3 then this data objects are placed correctly there is no proper answer for finding right number of clusters because it depends on distribution shape scale in the data set and clustering resolution required by the user Cluster formation depends on these three factors. So finding optimal number of clusters is very complicated, but there are two major approaches to find optimal number of clusters. First one is domain knowledge and second one is data driven approach. Domain knowledge may help in finding optimal number of clusters, but if domain knowledge is not available, then we use mathematical methods in order to find right number of clusters. Last one is clustering quality. After applying clustering methods on the data set, measure the quality of result. Measuring quality of result means we need to check whether clustering is good or not. And there are two types of measures used to identify clustering performance. They are one is extrinsic measure and next one is intrinsic measure. Extrinsic measure is used to solve other problems, but whereas intrinsic measures is used by itself. Extrinsic measure requires truth labels, whereas intrinsic measures does not require any truth labels. 